channel this is gonna be a fun video because we are literally going to go through so many cool things that I don't think I can live without in the springtime in the summertime this is kind of a spring haul because some of the things are new but um, mostly just the these are my things that I need for spring these are things that I always get some things I've purchased before um, and some of these are new purchases by the way BTW yes I do have three rings in my ear honey okay three rings all right Lord of the rings you can call me girl queen of the ring <laughs> let's jump into these products okay I'm gonna start by talking about makeup And by the way, go ahead and like the video. Like it now. I, I ain't going to keep talking until you like the video. Go ahead. Did you like it yet? Hello? Okay. Uh, Just do it for me. Okay. I get it. This lip gloss that I have on my lips right now is from MAC. It's a lip glass, and it's called Candy Box. I just got this lip gloss. Um, if you don't know, MAC has this program. It's called Back to Back. You can bring back six empty containers, and then you can get your choice of either a lipstick or a lip glass. I wanted something that was springy, something that was light and pinky. I'm a very, like, neutral lip kind of girl. I really don't get pinky lip glosses and definitely I don't get pinky lipsticks and I used to like I was a snob girl if you're a Mac wearer you know what snob is snob used to be my favorite lipstick okay this would actually be very cute on top of snob now that I think about it but I just wanted something that was light and you know kind of like a you know cute fun mm lip and it's very glossy very full and it lasts longer you don't get lip gloss lines as quickly like if i had on a nyx lip gloss right now i would already have a lip gloss line you know what i mean so yeah just try that out if you have mac products save them don't throw them away save them when you're done and then bring them back to the mac store so you can get you a lip glass or a lipstick okay the next thing for makeup that i want to talk about is this cool thingamajig but it is a makeup brush cleaning tool and I actually have not used it yet but the reason why I wanted to add this in my spring haul is because I really want to make sure y'all understand how important it is to keep your brushes clean so you want to be clean girl so I'm taking it out the package so I can see just how it feels on the hand oh do I have to Mm, I don't want to break this. I don't like throwing away the directions. Even though I like basically know how to use it, it's still a good reference tool. Okay? I just don't want to have to. Oop, saving it still. Found a way. Okay? Found a way. Okay. You put this on your hand and you clean your brushes by just rubbing your brush around. You'll use whatever soap you use. I use uh, baby soap, like a baby wash, and I use that to clean my brush with. Or you can, of course, use like a brush cleaner, but whatever you want works. It also has these like suctions on the back, so you can like just put it on your sink and then just wash it from there or put it on whatever surface you want and wash it from there. So this is something really cool to try. I got this from an event, so I don't know where you can get it, but... I'm sure this is like on Amazon, at Walmart, at Target, in the little makeup area. That is all for my makeup for spring. Oh, no it ain't. Hold it. No it's not. Dun, 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 dun. I love you. Um, it runs with the family. Like being a part of the Knowles family, you do have to kind of know how to sing, you know? Um, but anyway... This MAC Prep and Prime, y'all, whoo, everything that I need and more. There are so many Fix Plus sprays out there. Um, I have not, well, actually, I was going to say I haven't tried any, but I have. I've tried Urban Decays, and I think I've tried Makeup Forever, but I still prefer MAC over everything else. Um, 
I don't think there's any specific reason. It's just like, I know this is going to get the job done. I like the finish of my makeup. What a Fix Plus does for your skin. You know, after you finish doing your makeup and sometimes it might look a little cakey. Especially in the summertime when you're sweating and, you know, you got sweat coming down and then you can start to see your, your foundation rolling off, okay, your eyebrows falling off. What this Fix Plus does, honey, is wake that skin back up. It turns your skin back to skin so your face is not looking cakey or powdery. If your skin tends to get dry in the summertime because it's so hot or you live in an area where your skin is just dry, really try picking up a Prep and Prime um a Fix Plus from any particular brand. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying go and buy MAC. Just go and get you a Fix Spray because it will help the application process and then also the longevity of your makeup. You feel me? Like, I ain't trying to get to 5 o'clock and I look in the mirror and it's like, girl, who are you? You know what I'm saying? I want to be looking at myself still like, oh, hey there, Keyonce. How you doing, girl? You good? Okay. Bye. I'll see you later. Okay, girl. Bye. Let's talk about hair. Woo! It's so important in the summertime to make sure that we are keeping our hair moisturized and clean. Okay? I know in the summertime, my hair is a lot more oily than it normally is. Um, if I do sweat or if I choose to work out and stuff, that buildup will happen on my scalp a lot faster than what it was doing in the wintertime. You're out in the sun, and just like your skin and how you have to protect your skin with sunscreen, I feel like my hair also needs to be protected with a moisturizer of some sort. Something that's keeping my hair nice and juicy so it's not getting fried, okay, outside. I don't got time for that, girl. Ain't nobody trying to touch my hair, and it's crunchy as heck. Like, what happened? Is you okay? Okay, so, so let's first start off with my co-wash. I'm going to be co-washing a lot this summer with the Curls to Go from Jane Carter, the Curl Drench. I've spoken about this before in my Jane Carter review for this line of products. If you follow my Snapchat and my Instagram, then you know how much I love this stuff already. Go and follow Curls for the Girls on Instagram. It's my natural hair page where I talk all hair, all natural products, protective styling. And I've told you before, and it's just a disclaimer because I don't want anybody thinking that I'm getting anything out of this. I'm not getting paid to talk about this stuff at all. Trust me. Okay. Ain't no check been slipped my way. I am simply being very honest about a product that I use all the time. I'm sharing it with y'all because I want y'all to have everybody ask me, oh, what'd you do to your hair? What'd you blah, blah, blah? I used this, okay? This is what I used. So let's all get on the same page with that. This is the co-wash. And the co-wash is meant to be used to, you know, condition and wash your hair at the same time. I just want something quick and easy to wash my hair with in the summertime. And this does two in one. I'm getting it conditioned and I'm cleansing it. So it's at the top of my list of something I'm going to be using for the spring and the summer. Would you feel me? Next is one of my all-time favorites. It's the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Now, oddly enough, I have not used this in a long time. And that's mostly because I've been getting some products sent to me. So it's like, I ain't spending no money on nothing. But I wanted to pick this up because I know just how much my hair loves it. And I have officially decided to let my hair grow out. I want to see how long I can get my hair to grow. I just want to treat my hair good and just see how healthy it can get, how long it can get with me being healthy and treating my hair like I got some sense, okay? So I picked up this from the beauty supply store. It was actually on sale. So the original price is $15. I got it for $10. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to get this today because I don't know how long the sale is going to last. It's something that I use not just as a moisturizer, but more as like a styling product. And because of how it's formulated, this is something that I don't have to use with a whole bunch of other products. I can just use this and maybe like a leave-in conditioner and I'm good. And the leave-in conditioner that I would use would be from the Jane Carter line because that leave-in conditioner is the bomb. Remember when I did my deep conditioner favorites? So this is a product that I was going to try out and I hadn't used yet. Y'all, I love this stuff so much. It smells good. My hair is always soft afterwards and it helps to detangle my hair. So this is definitely a favorite for me in the summertime. 
I don't want to have to take a long time doing my hair. Like, I'm trying to be out and about looking cute. Like, what's up? You know, talking to somebody's son. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want to be doing. I don't want to be taking a long time doing my hair. This right here helps out a ton. My hair stays moisturized. Thank God it's natural, girl. Thank God I bought it, okay? Because I was very hesitant when I read that $17.99. But thank God I got it because it really is one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites that I talked about in the deep conditioner video is the uh, Shea Moisture Strength and Grow Treatment from Shea Moisture. <laughs> I think I said that. But yeah, this right here, definitely like... I mean, girl, not the best smelling, but it's like, it smells like she know what she doing. I use this. This was the deep conditioner that I used on my hair to achieve this nice, fluffy, light, moisturized, juicy hair. And I'm so in love with how my hair turned out after using this stuff. I put it in, I combed it through, I rinsed it out easy peasy. The reason why I'm talking about these is because you do need to be deep conditioning your hair. I know in the winter time we up the deep conditioners, we up all the conditioning treatments and products, but we also need to continue that same process and that same consistency in the summertime. These are my top two for those needs, okay? Dryness. You need to deep condition your hair, pick up those two deep conditioners because they are the shit. Last on my list is from Curls. It is their Twist and Shout Blueberry Bliss Cream. Smells very good. I actually twisted my hair last night with this product, and that is what we've got going on here. Light, it smells good. Help my twist well. Feeling luscious, you know what I'm saying? Just feeling good. I ain't got no complaints. Um, I didn't lose any length in my hair. My hair didn't shrink up. It's not crunchy. You know, these are things that I look for out of a moisturizer. Did it make my hair feel oily? Is my hair, you know, does it look good? And it looks great and it feels great. Definitely one of my faves and definitely something that I'm going to go and repurchase over and over again because it's just that damn good, okay? That along with all of the products from Curls to Go. I didn't bring it here because I've already reviewed their products, but the moisturizer from the Curls to Go line is also... I think it's called Curl Cocktail. It's amazing. All right, now there is nothing like a woman who walks past you and has a just fresh smelling scent, okay? I love walking past people and they're like, mmm, you smell good, girl, what you got on? And I be like, oh, that? <laughs> I don't know. Girl, I, just a little concoction I came up with, girl, I don't even know what it is. But most times, it is this MAC Turquatic Perfume. I love this perfume so much. It's not the only perfume that I wear, but it is a fave of mine. It's just very, very feminine, you know? And I'm not really good with explaining or describing fragrances, so don't count on me to, like, be able to tell you what this smells like. You know, people will be like, oh, there's a floral, woodsy... I don't know, girl. I don't know what it smells like. It smells good, okay? That's all I got for you is it smells good. You can go to MAC and you can get you, I don't know if they do samples, but you can definitely spray it on and walk around the mall, see how it sits on your skin and on your body. And if you like it, pick it up. It lasts me a long time. I think I've had this since last year. I don't use it every day, of course, but yeah, girl, it's a nice size. What is it? 1.7 fluid ounces. That doesn't sound like a lot, but 50 milliliters. Girl, you do the math, okay? It lasted for a long time. That's all I know. Now, let's talk jewelry. So, most times my earrings are from the beauty supply store, girl. These earrings I got in a pack from the beauty supply store. Ain't no shame in my game. I get the job done. The looks that I want, I get created by going and passing her $2, and that's it. You understand what I'm saying? They not staying in my ear all night. I don't sleep with these on, and I would not suggest you sleep in earrings that are not real. I have very sensitive ears, so I can't even play around like that anyway. I just keep it on for what I'm doing, and then I take them out, okay? Let's start off with these midi rings that I have on, which can also be pinky rings, whatever your little heart desires. They're from New York Pretty. It's a line.
line that me and my best friend came up with last year, and it has done very well. We've had so much support. Tons of girls have been buying stuff, and we have so many other things that we haven't even posted up yet. So I wanted to talk about them because, girls, summertime is coming up, and y'all need to know what we got in stock, okay? One of my favorite pieces of jewelry are anklets. I just think they are so sexy and so feminine and girly and just like so just a cute little surprise on your feet, you know? Because I don't do toe rings. I love my toes, but I don't need to be bringing too much attention to them, if you know what I'm saying. So it's like, you know, let me just put on a little anklet or something so that I can keep the eyes above the ankle. You know, keep everything above the ankle. And then if you look below the ankle, you're just looking at my shoe. You don't need to be looking at my toes. Just look at, okay? Okay. So the anklets that I have, they're so cute. Literally so cute. So this is one of them. And when I wear this one, I like to wear two. One on both feet, okay? Ooh, girl, see, I wasn't trying to get my toes in the frame. Oh, in case you were wondering, when I'm filming, I don't have on pants. Like, I have on shorts, but they're not, like, shorts. So that it's not a part of my outfit. You can't talk to me about nothing, honey. Not with this on. You said what? Huh? Put this on with a cute uh, sneaker, okay? And go and be cute and be fine, okay? Look at him like, what you say? Oh, okay, no, I ain't going there. Uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? Just do it. Got this really cute anklet, which is like this. I guess I won't bother putting them all on, even though I would. Super cute. It looks super cute on the foot. You know, just stylish and chic. Got this cute anklet giving you uh, bohemian, giving you goddess charm essence, okay? Giving you, um, pass me my candle and my incense, girl. I just want to go sit down and meditate, okay? Giving you that life. And then we have our oriental goddess girl giving you, girl, oh no, I'm about to get on this boat. Oh, you said what? Oh no, girl, um... Mm-mm, I ain't doing that, girl. Just pass me my champagne, okay? She's just, you know, a very cute look, girl. Oh, you said what? Oh, uh-uh, girl. Just pass me my passport. You know, just something cute like that. You know what I'm saying? Anklets are going to be all the rage this season. If you don't have any anklets, shop with us on New York Pretty. Um, I don't know if y'all have been in H&M lately, but H&M has been stepping up their accessory game, okay? I went in there the other day, and I got so many cute accessories. I'm not going to show all of them because I really want to do a video talking about accessories. But I just wanted to show you some of them because why not? So the first is actually this little set that I have on. Um, it's this bracelet with this ring, this cute little ring that has this little ball that can move if you wanted to on your finger. Girl, right or left, those are the only options, okay? Um, but just super cute. This was like seven bucks, so I was like, hell yeah, uh, buying this. And then I have these cute thumb rings, and they're all different shapes. I've got an octagon, I think that's octagon, or hectagon, girl, whatever it is, where my college girl's at, okay? There's a circle, got tons of different shapes, a square, a triangle, just cute stuff. And then my fave, this matte black, okay, twister life, this baduism, give me feels, Look, I love this ring so much. Like, one of my biggest goals is to have just bomb-ass accessories, okay? Just bomb-ass accessories. I want to be one of those women who walks up and is just laced out and just bomb-ass shit, okay? Do you feel me on that? So, if I can pick up little pieces here and there, I'm going to do that. And none of this stuff is real, so it's not going to last me forever, but it will last me for now. It will. It does get the job done, Okay? You know, just cute little stuff. Just cute. Cute, cute, cute. Make sure you are laced up with your jewelry this summer. Jewelry and accessories are a major part of your style and your outfit. Why not, you know, take a moment to really just delve into that 
is Del the word. I hope it is. But, you know, try something new. If you're not an accessories girl, go and check some out. Go to one of your favorite stores and see what their accessories wall is looking like. Go to the sales section, my favorite section, and see what they have on sale because you never know what you might run up on. Stores don't put the ugly stuff in the sales section most times. It's mostly just things that they want to get out of the store so they can get the new stuff in. So take a chance. Go to the sales section and see what they can do for you, okay? The next on my list is this bomb-ass bag. How cute is this bag? If you follow my Instagram, and I'm tired of saying that, and I'm sure you're tired of hearing it, but on my Instagram, I posted a picture with this bag on, and I got a lot of compliments for it. I got a lot of messages asking me where I got it from. I actually got this bag from Express, and I never go on Express because their clothes are literally all over the place. I don't like, there's so many clothes in there. There's clothes in the, little, in the little buckets as soon as you walk in, and I just feel, like, overwhelmed. And I'm not, I don't even enjoy shopping, so I don't go in there. But I saw a sign that said, 50% off, half the items up in here, and I was like, oh, hey, girl, I'm here. Now, this wasn't uh, one of the things that was on sale, actually, but it was the last one, and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. So I bought it, and I'm so happy I did. You could take off the little straps on her, and she could just be this cute little, okay, like, hey, what? Oh, I'm here for brunch, would you say? No. Oh, girl, I'm going to lunch. What are you doing? Okay, I'll see you there. Bye. <laughs> you know, just cute stuff like that. Like, why wouldn't I, you know? So I bought her, and I'm in love with her, and I've been wearing her. Um, and I need to get another bag so I'm not wearing her out because that would be the saddest thing. I have a bad habit of overwearing my bags and then it's like I can't wear it anymore because it'll be all messed up on the handle or something will be like messed up on it. So I'm going to be very careful with her because I love her and she's just the cutest little thing. But yeah, she's from Express. What's next? Oh yeah. Ooh, I'm excited about the next one, y'all. I am a nail polish girl. I don't care if I say I'm going in for one thing and one thing only. Most times, if I walk into a beauty supply store, I am leaving with a new nail polish. Even if I'm at a clothing store, if they have a nail polish little area and they have cute colors, I'm buying it. I don't know what it is about nail polish, but I just cannot say no. And let me give y'all a little, a little secret, okay? One of my favorite places to go for nail polish is Urban Outfitters. They actually have really good nail polish. The formula is really good. They last a long time. Um, and they have a great color selection. So they do this thing. I think it's 3 for 10. And so I'll be doing a 3 for 10. I'm just going to show you like really quickly some of the kind of colors that they have that I just be loving. These are all just so cute. Ooh, girl. I don't know what's all inside of that. But don't even look at that. But how cute is that? It's like gum or something, y'all. Sorry about that. It's like dried up gum. But how cute is this polish? Sorry about my nails, too. How am I going to be up here talking about polish and my nails look like this? Looking a mess. But, yeah. So, we've got this really cute, like, minty looking color. I'm so into pastel nail, nail polishes right now, too. Um... But yeah, this neon, which you do have to do a couple coats of this for it to be like really popping. And then this really pretty coral color that's so nice on my hands. I feel like this is the type of color that's good on everybody's hands. Like everybody can wear this color. But what you should know is that there are dupes to these nail polishes, okay? This is a dupe right here. It's a little different, but it's basically the same. This is from the dollar store and it's from LA Colors. Okay, but I'm super, super, super into pastel. I think that was the point because I'm like, what was my point in talking about this? Besides telling y'all about the Urban Outfitters nail polish, it's also just like putting y'all on to nail polish colors. Really get into like the pastel look for these nail polishes because that's what's going to be in all spring, of course, and even in the summertime. It just really looks good on our skin, you know? Right now I'm doing a white hand look. Um, but I'm probably going to use my newest color from Urban Outfitters, which is this right here. But yeah, these pastel colors, girl, they are where it's at. Oh yeah, also in my nail little kit, 
I have these nail stickers that you can put on your hands. I have not tried these out yet, um, but it's something really cool to have if you don't feel like doing your nails or if you ain't got time for your nails to be chipping. You could just use these nail stickers, put them on your nail like a sticker, and then you file off the excess part that's on your nail. But yeah, just cool little stickers that I have for my nails as well if I don't feel like painting them. But I always feel like painting my nails. Painting my nails is like a form of meditation for me. I love painting my nails and treating myself to that. I just, I could do that and listen to something, listen to a TV show or listen to music and I just feel very calm. It's just a very peaceful thing, a very peaceful activity for me to do. Another form of artistic expression as well. Okay, so last but not least, Let's talk about some of my springtime sneakers. I am not a sneakerhead girl, so don't let this fool you. This is the first time I have like bought sneakers like that. Um, but I knew that I wanted sneakers for the springtime because... So the first pair are from Adidas. I actually got these from Urban Outfitters in their sales section. Y'all, please don't sleep on the sales sections, okay? I have a style haul video coming for you very soon, and I'm going to show y'all so many clothes that I got. Not so many clothes, because I don't have so many clothes. But I'm going to show y'all some pieces that I purchased, some of them from Urban Outfitters, but all of them were purchased in the sales section. All of them. And they're all super, super cute. And, yeah, I can't wait to get that video to you guys. Because y'all ask me a lot, like, where do you shop? In the sales section, girl. Wherever I go, yep, I'll be in the sales section. So, these are the Stan Smith Adidas. These are very popular shoes. I'm sure you've seen them all over the place. Uh, wherever you are, just because they're a popular shoe. I can wear that with literally anything. Which is why I got them. Like, I wanted a shoe that I could just throw on anytime. And that's one of those shoes. So she got bought and she was on sale. Like I said, originally, um, originally she was $80. I got her for $60. Okay. So I feel like, you know, save 20 bucks, you know, whatever. I feel like $60 is a reasonable price for sneakers. And the reason why I'm saying that is because these next pair were also $60. <laughs> these weren't on sale though. These were uh, also purchased from Urban Outfitters. Because I don't go to like Champs and Foot Locker and stuff. I don't go in there. So if I'm in another store where I'm doing shopping, if they sell shoes, I look in their little shoe section. And Urban has a shoe section and just happen to have shoes that I was interested in. I got these cream colored Reeboks. I've always been a Reeboks fan. Reeboks are just a classic shoe. Um, they actually give you two options. I've got some white laces and I got some cream laces. And they're just super cute. Uh, there's like suede detail on them. Nothing too crazy. But these are also shoes that I'll be able to wear with whatever I want. They look cute on my foot, which is very important because I have what I would consider a very long foot for my height. I wear a size 9. And... Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. That's, you know, God bless me with feet that can take me wherever I want to go. But they can look a bit long, okay, in certain shoes. So those look very cute on my feet. And they're the type of shoes that I think look cute on everybody's feet. Like those, that style of shoe. Even the Stan Smiths were just very, like, basic. They fit cute. You can get away with whatever you want in this shoe. Um, But, yeah, get you some sneakers. Get you some cute looks. I'm really going for, like casual chic this summer this spring so girl okay we got some things coming do feel me um i hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoyed making it i love talking about things that i'm like actually using and also i love putting y'all on to stuff i like answering y'all's questions i've gotten these questions a lot about all of these products and like you know I hope that this like answers a lot of the questions that I've gotten. So in the next video, I don't know what I'll be talking about, but it will be coming very soon. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you didn't already like the video, go ahead and like it now for me. Um, I ain't got nothing else to say, girl, but thank you. Thank y'all for your comments. Thank you for your support. Tell your friends about my page. Have them subscribe. Make another account. Subscribe. Do what you got to do, girl. Let's get the numbers up, okay? I love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.
Friday. I love.